Okay, guys, so this is a tutorial on how to use Tumble Books. Um, it is a really cool database that we have. If you've never used it before, it focuses on um, books and resources for children grades K through six. So I'm going to show you how to get to that. Um, there was a previous tutorial that you saw about Teen Book Cloud, and that is kind of the Tumble Books version of teen resources. So that's more middle school and high school. But this one is for the younger kids. And when people hear Tumble Books, this is what they think of. Um, I think I didn't know originally that Tumble Books had so much for um, older students, but they do. Uh, so I'm going to click on, like I said, with all of our tutorials, start on our website, rpl.org. Um, if you can't remember that, just Google Rapids Parish Library and it'll bring you right to it. But I'm going to hover over the E branch here at the top and go to databases. And then over here to Louisiana Library Connection. That's going to take you to all of the databases that are provided to us from the State Library of Louisiana. So, and if you've watched other tutorials, you've heard me say this before, but um, the cool thing about these, at least these here on the right side, um, they are available to every library in the state. So if you have a family member or friend who maybe lives in a different parish and you think they would benefit from these resources, um, they have access to them as well from their public library from the State Library of Louisiana. So I'm going to scroll on down pretty much to the very bottom, I think. Um, yes, Tumble Book Library. And like I said, there was a tutorial of Teen Book Cloud. If you want to see that, go to our YouTube page and you can see that tutorial. But this one focuses on Tumble Book Library. And it is um, ebooks and different um, videos, just different resources for students grades K through 6. So I'm going to click on Tumble Book Library. Um, right now, I am inside the library, so it is not asking me for my library card number. But if you are at home or on a mobile device somewhere outside of the library, which you are because we're not open. Um, yes, so if you are not here, you will have to put in a card number at this point. If you look on the back of your library card, there's a barcode with a little number underneath. That's what you're going to put in. Or if you've emailed recently since um, since we've been closed, you've gotten a virtual card, they would have just given you that number. If you are unsure if you have a card, what your number is, anything like that, feel free to call any um, of the Rapids Parish Library locations or you can email virtual at rpl.org and they can give you a virtual card at this time. So if you already had one, if you never had one, any of those things, just email us or give us a call. We can get that worked out. We want you to have access to all of these resources. So this is Tumble Book Library. I'm going to show you a few of the different things on here. First, I'm going to click on Storybooks. So let me scroll down, take them just a minute to load. So this shows um, kind of different, I guess, playlists, if you will, or collections. All the new books will be here at the top. Then we have award winners, bestsellers, and then they break them into kind of alphabet and reading, early readers that just, they break them into different kind of genres. Um, and then there are some, like, I knew there was a Kate DiCamillo whole section. Um, different authors have their own little playlist here as well. So I'm going to click on one just so you can see what one looks like. Let me click on Bailey by Harry Bliss. I just want you to see what, what you're going to see when you click on a book. So if I click here on Accelerated Reader Info, this will tell me, oh, it's not available for this. This must not be an Accelerated Reader book. Oh, I hate that, um, that I chose one that wasn't. But if it was an Accelerated Reader book, it would tell me the level and the point level. So it does show me the Lexile level here as well, if you're somebody that does Lexile. Um, but the cool thing about these books is, um, unlike an ebook that you would get, say, maybe from Overdrive or Cloud Library or one of our apps, you're not checking out the book. You're just viewing it online. And because of that, there's an unlimited number of people who can view them at once. So let's say you have three or four kids at home that you're doing virtual school with or you're homeschooling or you're just wanting to do this um, for fun. All of them can read Bailey at the same time because there's it's not a situation where one kid's checked it out so there's not another copy. You're not checking it out. You're just viewing it online. So I'm going to click read online right here. I just want you to see what the book would look like. This is one of the books that's kind of like a um, – it's not just a flip book. Once you get into some of the older um, level books that aren't picture books – um, they're not as interactive as these, but this isn't just your classic flip book. It can read to you. It's, it's kind of cool. I'm just going to show you briefly for a moment what it would look like just so you can see. Yeah, there's a little book. He always kind of somersaults across. <laughs> so you can see I could close it. Um, I can do auto 
auto, auto or manual. I can change the volume. You can see he's reading there. I can turn the help off if I don't want it to kind of highlight my words. I can skip pages. It's a very interactive book. They're pretty cool. Like all of the picture books in Tumble, Tumble Book Library are this way. So they're really cool. Um, and even some of them, I don't think this one, let me go back and choose a different one. I'm hoping I can show you one with um, some AR information, but also maybe some different things to go along with it. Um, let me click on one of Kate DiCamillo's books. So let's see. I'm going to click on, ah, here, it's telling me the AR level right there. Yes, so the book level and the point level. So that gives me some information. So if you're someone who um, is doing Accelerated Reader, this is awesome information. I'm going to go back. All right. I won't spend too much time in fiction here in the storybooks because we could stay all day because they're really cool. But I want to show you other aspects. Um, so that's storybooks. These are read-alongs. Let me click on the read-alongs. And they are more less interactive. They're just, I'm reading the book. So it's just a clicking through like a, like a flip book that I'm clicking to flip the pages. Um, they're chapter books, advanced readers, classics. There's some really cool classics in here. Little Women, um, Treasure Island, Peter Pan. Oh, The Wind in the Willows. Yeah, it's awesome. So um, yeah cool thing that multi-users can be using at the same time. If you're wanting to have a little at-home book club, this would be perfect for that. All the kids could read Wind in the Willows and then kind of have a little book club experience together. That'd be amazing. Let me click on the videos. These are all videos from National Geographic. They're really great to use educationally and they're just fun. Also, they're cool to watch. I'm going to click on one just so you can kind of see um, what it would look like. So um, it tells you how long the video is. Just a brief little summary about it before you play the video, just to give you an idea um, of what you're using. None of them are too long. Five minutes and 19 seconds, that's actually one of the longer ones. So I, I don't think they're so long that you're going to lose their attention um, if you have some older learners. Um, but they're really well made because they're all done by National Geographic. So check out the videos. If I click on language learning, um, this has some, I think Spanish and French, if I'm correct. Yes, Spanish and French. So books in Spanish and French. Um, that's great for those. Graphic novels. If you have a graphic no novel lover, um, <laughs> that's hard to say. Uh, this is a great um, collection of those. And they kind of break them down into your early readers, your more advanced readers. Uh, mystery and classic characters. Geronimo Stilton, gotta love him. Yeah, so um, if you have a child who loves graphic novels. There's a really cool collection of them here. Let me click on nonfiction. I think most of the nonfiction books are um, kind of picture-y type books. Yeah, they're, they're broken down into history, animals, geography. Let me click on one just so you can see what they would look like. Um, let's see, animals, black and white. Let's click on that. Same thing, I'm going to get the AR information. Oh, of course, I keep choosing books that aren't accelerated reader. Um, so this is one that I would actually play as a video. Some of them do play as a video, not so much a click through um, kind of situation. It just depends on how it's how it's loaded in here. Let me click on one more. This one's big blue. Let me see if I can get some AR information on this one. It's thinking, it's thinking. Oh no, still not giving me any, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but those books that are Accelerated Reader will have the information there. Uh, let me click on ebooks. So yeah, these are just electronic books. Um, there is a good collection of Kate DiCamillo, um, which her books are fantastic. If you've not read The Tale of Despero or Floor and Ulysses or Because of Winn-Dixie, man, all of them, you're missing out. <laughs> her books are amazing. There's some early readers, chapter books, advanced readers, and classics. Ah, and some award winners as well. This has been a really popular series, Ivy and Bean. Um, check those out. So puzzles and games. Let me click on that. They have different types of games. There are memory games. There's some Spanish games and then new games and it'll tell you sentence games. Those are just some cool learning games. So definitely play around with those. They're a lot of fun. If you click on playlist, that's just kind of like a curated playlist of some of their resources to teach different types of things. Um, this does tell you um, the amount of time it would take, but this one would be for art class. Um, 
at addition and subtraction, be true to you. And it's a playlist of different things. Um, animal adventure, around the world, camping. So they're sort of themed. Um, here's an American history one. They're really cool that they've kind of curated these playlists. Um, this one even breaks down some early readers, grade one, grade two. So you know um, if the grade level is appropriate for your child. But yeah, the playlists are really awesome. So definitely look at those. It kind of is curated for you and you maybe don't have to do as much work to pull all that together. Um, but that just gives you kind of a basic idea of how this works. I didn't get to click on everything. Obviously, there's a lot to this, and it's a really cool database. I mean, from kindergartners all the way to sixth grade, there's a lot in here that you can use. So please play around with it. If you have questions about it, if you get confused, if you get lost, if something doesn't work the way that you saw it work in this video, please give us a call um, at any of the Rapids Parish Library locations. Um, so you should be able to call any library location, but um, the reference desk specifically could help you. Also feel free to call me Carla. Ask for Carla at any branch. They can transfer you to me. There's only one Carla here. So um and also if you need a card, if you do not have a card, if you are unsure if you have a card, please call any location or email virtual at rpl.org. We can get you a card. We know this is a tough time, particularly maybe um, virtual learning maybe new to you, homeschooling, something like that. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to access these resources. So hopefully that can um, make this process just a little simpler. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I hope this is something that you'll be able to use. Um, and there will be more tutorials coming with even more databases. We have a lot of virtual resources and I'm excited to be able to show them all to you. Thanks, guys.